Oh, just one moment. Did you park over here? You're not leaving? Okay, thank you. Um, you have to have the spirit of a hustler. Um, the reason why I ask is because some people, just like the person that just walked by, um, sometimes they just come in their car, but they're not leaving. So I don't even waste my time. I'm about to help myself because, bitch, when I move, you move just like that. I am going to my seat. Now, here come these two fine-ass men. And I need a place to park my car. So I'm about to most certainly ask them in just a 2.2 2 seconds if they are parking because I'm about to give me a seat. Watch me. Excuse me, did y'all park over here? Okay, thank you. Good. <laughs> I find my, oh my girl Asia. Shout out to the SG Rose. Yeah, I camp out here to make sure I find my spot. And um that's why I asked because some people go to their car and they be like, I'm not leaving, and then you waste your goddamn little camper spot. Then you out of a camper spot and a parking spot. yeah but yeah this is a college tip that i think you guys should know definitely if you really about that parking life and you know you about to really finesse the, finesse these holes you have to be willing to camp out and you also have to be willing to stick it out to the very last minute class starts at um 11 i have been in the parking lot till 10 55 but i still got my spot though and it hasn't failed me for the i didn't start doing this till about my third year here because sometimes i would just take that l and make a walk but bitch i'm a senior i'm i'm getting my spot period oh i want to thank kalia for the feature on her uh, what was the blog for the eight um pot black women podcasters you should be listening to and she mentioned me and that it was just really cool to see um an article of an official article on like a really lucrative website and i was just like thank you and it's kinky curly coily me dot com and i'm very very grateful for that feature very very grateful um because i mean what the fuck that's crazy i was like screaming and so i cannot wait um for i'm gonna insert the link in in this video so you guys can see it. You see, the thing about these people is they keep riding around in circles circles around looking for parking spots if you would just sit your ass down and wait just like everybody else you'll find you a spot sir. but you have to have patience and you mustn't fold you mustn't also, I just left therapy and having, let me tell y'all right now, get you, if you, get you a black therapist, black people, I, I can't tell you how much, how much better I feel. I just feel better. I feel so much better. And this was our first meeting, but it was really, truly a blessing to talk to somebody that I could relate to. Somebody who was raised by her grandmother. She lost her grandmother. She understood mental health in the black community. It didn't it was race wasn't something I felt like I had to tiptoe around. And I'm a hundred percent sure that I could have done the scene same with my white female therapist. But it just it, it's a feeling. There's a feeling that you just feel when you are talking to somebody that just understands you from the rooter to the tutor. I don't have to say much and I know that you under, you get me from a deeper place. Because she was asking me about mental health. And she asked me, like, do you know if your grandmother or anybody else in your family had mental health? And I was like, yeah, but nobody really talked about it. And the first thing she said was like, yeah, that's really a thing in the black community. You know, they just tell you to pray about it, but that ain't really no help. And I was like, you know, like, it's not like I don't, you know, mental health isn't discussed and it's really really frustrating when you got to get people hip to the culture as to why you don't know what kind of mental health issues your grandma had you get what i'm saying so get you a black therapist hunty now i'm looking at this girl because i was over here longer than she was and she thinks she gonna take my spot And I don't want to have to cut up on a on a bed. <laughs> she ain't even park over here. Hold yourself, bitch. Now I'm about to be petty. 
<laughs> you thought and take her waiting spot because she really thought she was gonna take a spot from me <sighs> this is where I'll be waiting to find a place to spark because I'm petty just like that and I was looking at her like you really thought she was about to park so now I double dog dare her I double dog dare her to try me try me bitch <laughs> she really fucking tried me like girl you really thought she was gonna park somewhere and now she behind me like a dumbass sis don't do it <laughs> like, hey, so, let me tell y'all about this other day bitch I connected you know it was a black girl and I'm just like hey sis you parking bitch I come out follow her to her spot and it's a truck but I'm looking like bitch I already connected with my good sis so this my spot like I'm not arguing with you about it do you know the bitch took our spot but I ain't even get mad I ain't even see this a black girl this a black girl let me see let me see let me see let me see I'm mad excuse me did you park over here you didn't park over here yeah I'm about to follow girl because she said she didn't park over here but clearly she leaving <laughs> So that's two parking spots. I found a parking spot that I could back into. And that was cool. Did y'all see that? I was trying to follow the rude black girl because she gave me a look like, bitch, who the fuck are you talking to? And I ended up getting a spot behind me. That bitch was rude, too. I was like, sis, did you park over here? She looked at me like, See, I was about to use some Christian quote, but I ain't about to be like, what the devil mean for her? <laughs> See, the universe works in your favor. And I'm on time, sir. Time to get to class, y'all. Thank you so much for using Takenia's tips to part. Put into the universe what you want to happen. And hopefully it will. I don't know what time it is. But I think so I got some time to spare. Anyway, thanks for watching your girl. <laughs> I didn't even know this was going to be a real video. This came out so random. Um, I'm going to class. Stay in school. Get your degree. Do what you guys to do. So much love. Thank you for supporting me. I love you guys. Bye.